Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we are going to discuss about some uh, important functions in Selenium uh, by using which we can uh, perform operations on the UI. Okay, so before uh, learning the functions, uh, let us first create uh, one project okay and this time we are going uh, to create a project using maven and we will be using the dependencies uh, inside the pom.xml the selenium dependency uh, in order to work with the functions because like in our previous tutorials we uh, we have imported the jar and uh, then we were working with it but uh, in this tutorial we will be using the maven okay so i am on this intellij uh, we need to create a simple new project. So I'm clicking on this create new project. Now this time we need to create a Maven project. So in this IntelliJ there is a Maven option. So if you don't know Maven, it's okay. Like we will be uh, discussing step by step how we can configure the Selenium and how we can work with it. So this is the option we need to uh, select and then click on the next. So it is ask uh, it is asking for the group ID. So we can give uh, any group ID whatever you want. So let me give it uh, com dot stereo. Okay, uh, this is my group ID and then artifact ID basically group ID means that like if we are having um, multiple projects in the organization. So uh, like if multiple projects belong to a same group, then we can define some group ID here and then artifact ID basically is the project name. So let us uh, give project name name as selenium demo for now selenium demo app okay then click on next then finish so uh, intellij has uh, created this clean uh, maven project in here okay now uh, we need to do uh, two things uh, before we start writing the code so basically this is the simple maven project and in this if you see then there is one source folder in the source folder there are two folders main and test so in main uh, like whenever we are doing some development then the development code exists in this main and then uh, the test cases exist in this particular uh, test folder okay uh, so and there is the resources folder also so in this like whatever files you need for uh, your project let's say some property file or xmls you can put it in here now the important thing is this pom.xml okay so in this pom.xml if you see then it is giving some information like this is a version of this like this is a versioning we follow in the maven so this is providing this version model version then uh, there is this group id like whatever we have given com.stereo and then there is the artifact id so basically artifact ids are name of the project and then uh, the version of this particular project is 1.0 okay so uh, in order to work with the selenium we need to add the selenium dependency like in previous tutorial we added uh, the uh, selenium jar but in this uh, we are going to add a dependency so uh, there is a selenium dependency in here. So I am having this particular dependency selenium java uh, 3.141.59 is the version of it now to provide this particular dependency we first need to uh, Provide the dependencies tag. So in this dependencies tag we can define multiple dependencies. Okay, so this is the particular de dependency we need to add this uh, into this pom.xml simply and then we need to import the changes okay uh, and if you like uh, from where you will download it if you move to the chrome and uh, simply uh, write selenium java dependency maven okay so if you search this particular thing then it will open this uh, maven repository so this is the cent central maven repo from where we are uh, getting all the dependencies uh, so click on this first link only the maven repo so in here we are having this particular selenium java so like whatever version you are comfortable you can use it uh, for now i am using this 3.141.59 because till now it's a most stable version and this is the particular dependency i have added simply okay so this is for the dependency and one more dependency we need to add uh, which is uh, JUnit dependency so in our previous tutorials we have covered the JUnit also uh, because like we also want to perform some assertions uh, okay to compare the actual and expected result so for that I am adding this JUnit dependency also so let me import the change so till now what we have done we have added uh, we have created a simple maven project and then in our pom.xml we have added these two dependency and what um, 
this will do is like it will uh, go to the central maven repo what i have shown you uh, in the chrome okay and then it will download all the dependencies for our project and uh, we can work with them so this is the configuration we need to do uh, in order to work with the selenium so for now let me close this pom.xml and let's start writing the code so i'm creating one java class inside this test folder okay because like we are writing uh, some test script so let me create in this only let me give selenium test script so we will uh, be writing a text script okay simple test script and in this we will cover different functions so let me create a main method in this particular class okay so main, main method has got created in here okay so we have uh, created this main method in here now first of all we need to uh, define the driver uh, the chrome driver like we have discussed in our previous tutorial that how we can uh, download the driver like for now we are using the chrome browser so for that there is this chrome driver dot exe file executable file in my system at this particular location so i'm just providing the path of it and then this is the key webdriver.chrome.driver so we need to set this particular system property in here okay so uh, let us now go with the web driver let, let us create a reference of web driver okay so web driver is an interface we need to create a driver reference here and for now we are using the chrome browser so let me do the chrome browser in here then driver dot get we need to open one url so there is one uh, demo application uh, i'll be using for this particular test script okay so this is the one uh, swag labs so this is basically a test application we can use in order to learn the selenium functions okay so so we will see what uh, test script we are writing and what are the actions we are performing on this particular ui okay so uh, for now let me paste the url in here so we have got the url we have entered this particular url in here now there is one function first of all let me tell you about like uh, whenever we open the browser through uh, this particular code like the driver.get then it will not be maximized so first of all let us maximize it so for that you can simply use the manage driver dot manage is a function then there is window uh, driver dot manage dot window then maximize so by writing this particular thing you can simply maximize your window okay and then secondly uh, so let me write a comment in here that uh, maximizing the window okay simple then after that uh, let us do something let me first of all uh, write the thread dot sleep let me add some time in here okay so it is asking me for some exception let me add it okay uh, like uh, to uh, make it more visible and like it will take some time uh, after loading because if we do not provide any time then it will just uh, go through all the things okay uh now what we need to do is we have come on this particular screen we have maximized our browser now we need to provide the username okay so for username we are having uh one function like we need to enter some text into this particular uh input box uh, this username and password okay input field now we can do driver dot find element first like as in our previous tutorial uh, we have discussed about how we can find the element so i'm simply doing it and find element by dot id let me take a id in here so let me open the developer tool through inspect element okay so this open the developer tool in here now let me inspect the element so there is this id username which is uh, unique so if we see then this is only one id we are having so we can use this particular id as i've told you like uh, id uh, is like id name uh, if you find element by the name or id it will be much more faster as compared to xpath so like on the static page we can use uh, these kind of ids like username or something so uh, we have find this particular element on the web page now we need to enter some text in it so for that you can just uh, like uh, after you have find the element you need to enter some text so th there is a function send keys so you can provide some text in it so they are like uh, on this particular website they have given some username and password i am just simply copying them and 
uh, putting them in here so i have entered this particular uh, username okay now second thing i need to enter is the password so let me enter the password driver.find element and this time also by id and let me take the id of password so this is the id of password password and then we need to enter this particular secret sauce okay uh, now we need to do the send keys we need to send the password in here now uh, let me again uh, wait for some time and then we need to click on this login button so if we inspect this login button then there is like id is also present for the login button so i am simply uh, doing driver dot find element by dot id this is the static method in here and id i have provided so we have seen this send keys method in here like which will enter the text in the input field okay and then we need to now we need to click on this particular login button so for that there is a click uh, function also provided by the selenium okay so let me add some comments here we are simply uh, entering okay entering test in the input field now here clicking on login button okay so these are the two things we are doing in here like we are simply entering the username password and then clicking on the login button so for now let me enter the username then this is the password in here then so what we are doing is we are just automating our manual steps okay so like manually we have uh, entered the username and password and then click on the login button so same thing we are doing in here by the functions provided by the selenium so we have come on to this screen okay so like uh, after we have logged into this particular page we need to make sure that we have uh, logged in successfully so for that let me uh, do one thing like uh, let me show you one more function like uh, how we can get the text of element and we will be comparing it so as i've you uh, as i've added the junit dependency uh, in my pom.xml so we will be seeing the use of it now so for that let me do one thing uh, we need to get the text of this products okay so this products is some text here so we need to get the text of it and then we will compare with the expected text okay let me show you how we can do it uh, so for that let me do driver so we need to get the text okay so driver dot find element and this time I think there is no id for this particular product so let me uh, there is a class product label so okay so we can go with the class because uh, this class is also unique like most of the time class will not be unique but this time it is unique so we can find element by class simply we give the class name okay and then we can get the text of it so there is a get text method if you see like there are a lot of methods if you explore uh, each and every method then there are a lot of things but this time we need to use this get text method so we can use it okay and what it will do if we see this get text method then it returns the string okay now uh, we can simply uh, get the text so product product text okay so now like we have got uh, this particular text into this particular string now we need to assert uh, the text like whatever text we are getting from here is uh, equal to our expected value or not so like if you if you've seen the junit tutorials because uh, junit is very important in order to work with the test cases uh, because it will provide the way to assert all the things so there is this assertions class in here in this there is a method assert equal okay assert equal so in this assert equal first we need to give the expected text so our expected text is let's say this products is our expected text now okay and then uh, we are providing the actual text with, which we are getting from the ui the product text then uh, we can also provide one message that the text is not matched okay so we have provided this so this is the function to get the text of the element okay so uh, let me write it getting the text so this is getting getting the text of the element okay so we have got this particular text and we have compared it uh, whether it is uh, equal to this product's expected test or not if it will not then it will fail the case and then uh, like we have uh, provided uh, the text also in here 
now uh, let me show you some more things we have click on the login button let's uh, after clicking let's wait more for the two seconds okay 2000 milliseconds then after we have compared the text let us wait again so i am added this adding this static wait just to explain and like whenever we are running the program then it will be much more clear but there are uh, some uh, frequent waits also some dynamic waits we will be discussing about it but in this tutorial we are just simply covering some important functions which can be used in selenium in order to work with the ui operations so now let me show you some more functions so then there is one more function right if you do driver dot uh, navigate okay so navigate let us say we need to go backward so what it will do it will just simply click uh, on it like we can we will be navigating toward this window okay we have navigated back then again let me give some weight then there is one more function which is driver dot forward okay so in this we are navigating navigating back and in this particular function we are forward okay so these things we are doing in here okay now at last let me close the browser uh, driver dot close so for your information like there are two methods driver dot close and driver dot quit if you see like uh, there is a quit also so close what close will do if let's say you are working on this particular window and your web driver is pointing to this particular uh, tab so if we do driver dot close then it will close this particular tab only and let's say uh, if i am having multiple tabs open like uh, in some case uh, i can open the multiple tabs also th through the selenium so if we do driver dot close then it will if we close it then it will close this particular window only it will not close all the windows but if we do driver dot quit then it will uh, like close all the tabs and quit browser okay simple but uh, for now what we are expecting like we are only using a single tab so our browser should be closed in this particular case like closing the browser this is the next thing we are doing okay so now let me uh, run it and then first let me debug it like so we will be understanding the things uh, one by one like what is going on so our debugger point is uh, at this place now let me move forward so like whenever we have uh, given the reference of this particular uh, driver then it has opened this particular driver and we are not having any url right now with this function we will be uh, sending the url so see this sources demo.com has provided in it and then we are maximizing the window so this is our next task so let's see if it okay so it has maximized this particular window then it will wait for two seconds uh, 2000 milliseconds okay so it has waited now we need to enter the text uh, in these two fields username and password so first of all the standard user got entered in the username then password so password also got added the secret sauce and then we are waiting for some time and then we are clicking on this login button so see uh, this login button got clicked and we entered into this particular website and now we are waiting for some time then we need to get the text of the elements so we are getting this uh, products okay so let us see what it will return so if you see then product text we have got this product because we are getting the text of it and then we are asserting our expected and actual value so if you like uh, this test passed because uh, this assertion passed because the actual and expected value are equal otherwise like if it not be equal then it will fail the case and it will uh, write this particular message on the console so we have done thread dot sleep for two seconds then uh, we are doing navigate uh, back so we have navigated back in this case so see and then we are waiting for two more seconds then we need to move forward so we have come again into this particular website and then we are closing the browser so see the browser got closed in that case so these are uh, some simple steps we are following like these are some basic functions we can use uh, in selenium basically there are a lot of functions in the selenium but uh, i have written this simple script to make you understand like what is a flow how we can write a simple test script and verify some things and then close the browser okay uh, that's it for this particular tutorial in our next tutorial we will be discussing more about uh, the ui operations in the selenium okay so for now thank you